welcome to episode 2 of Kindergarten. Monday! So last time, when I was playing, I said we would do Cindy's mission. So, we're doing that today. So let me get some money. To take money, press up to put money back. Okay, we'll take two dollars. There. Uh, there we go. I may or may not have forgotten the controls to this game. Leave me alone. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes. So, to do Cindy's quest, we should start by talking to Cindy. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Sure. Heh. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple in school, but first you have to do something for me. Like what? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She is by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yay. This is going to be great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you've done it. What happened to her brother? You haven't heard? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog Biscuit going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Your dog went missing too? Yeah, I brought her in for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed, so he took her. Apparently, she escaped from his closet and they couldn't find her. Maybe I could find your dog instead. Hmm. Interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? Oh. What if I say you love Biscuit more? You love Biscuit more. Um, no, I definitely hate Lily more. Oh. I tried. Yeah, Lily is actually a desp despicable person and her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit. Just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk to me afterward. You got it. Put the gum in some in Lily's hair. Okay, so let's... Yeah, that's how you skip. Let's skip through this. Oh, before... Let me see if I need to buy anything from Monty. They said the bucket of blood in the janitor's closet. Uh, I want to buy something. Here's what's for sale. Yo-yo, cigarettes, voice recorder, screwdriver. Oh, cigarettes. Um, I was re-watching my last video and I read a hint saying that you need cigarettes to get into the bathroom so that's just in case just don't go showing them to anyone it could get us both in trouble understood what can I do for you nothing right now okay children it's time to start the day everyone head inside for morning time let's go inside Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you, you can be. Go find a partner. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Let's... There we go. I got it. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. Did you just... Oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Cindy put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. She's crying. I feel so bad. Okay, let's go talk to Lily. I mean, Cindy. Ah, oh, crap. I'm getting all the girls' names confused. Did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. She cried. Yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over at the dollhouse. I'll be home soon, honey. <laughs> oh, God. Planner updated. Play house with Cindy. What happens if I never play house with her? Whatever. Okay. Eh. 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 There we go. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard, because you're going to be making dinner tonight. Yes, dear. And after that, I need you to... <laughs> Have you been drinking again? Uh, wait, what? Don't you play dumb with me, mister. Have you been drinking? No, honey, I'm just tired. Sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing into this then. 
Is that a breathalyzer? Oh, I got a breathalyzer. You bet it is. And if you blow so much as a 0 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. These two keep popping up. I'm really tempted, but I'll take the test. Good. Blow. 0 0.32? You're trashed right now. How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. How can you be a father when you can't even take care of yourself? Be a father? I, well... While you were in prison, it's it's probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. You cheated on me? It was only one time. I was alone. He was there for me when you weren't. I didn't know how to get by. Please don't get mad. We can get through this though. I, I still love you. I want a divorce. We can work through this. I don't want to play anymore. We can work through this. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I'm not picking that option. Yes, I do. Wow, alcoholism aside, you really are a great guy. So, what should we do about the baby? Oh my god. No, I'm clicking keep it. That's so wonderful that you would do that. Thank you. No problem. Wow. That was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're going to make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay, we passed the boyfriend test. Okay. Great, I'll see you then. Sure. Okay, now what? Planner updated, have lunch with City. But what do I do now? I'll see you at lunch, boyfriend. See you then. <laughs> That's a great Mona Lisa picture. Let's find a Cindy. I see a Lily crying. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. Okay. It's you. It's you. Hello. How you doing there, Sonny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Yes, please. There you go, buddy boy. And don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. Okay. And yeah. And, and yeah. There we go. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. Does she not know my name? Do, like, do, does my character even have a name? I have slop. Oh good, I was just thinking about- Oh darn it, my stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Oh. Hey sweetie, would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, um, like, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. So just ask around and see if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. I'll try. Alright, Monty, what you selling? I figured you'd be seeing me around now. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. I want to buy something. Here's what's for sale. A salad. Looking to cut some fat from your diet? Yeah, I wouldn't want to look like bugs either. This is a totally healthy and vegan choice. It goes for 75 cents. Deal. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't need anything else. Oh, girlfriend, since you can't learn my name, I'm just going to forget yours. What did you get me? Here's a salad. Ugh, a salad? Oh, now that I think about it, I guess that would be vegan, huh? Gross. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should use you for something at recess. Hmm, I have an idea. What? I'm really liking the way Lily wears that gum, but maybe we could put something else in there. What do you mean? Jerome was telling me about how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Does it keep it locked? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Look what I have. You have the key? How does she have the key? Yep, a girl has her ways. I'm gonna head over and pay off the lunch lady so you can get going on down to that nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Oh, that's silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and you'll be fine. Okay. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this. Go to the janitor's closet. Ah! Uh, why can't I move? You're good to go. Hurry back. Okay. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. This is the door to the janitor's closet. It's locked. Unlock the door. 
This is the gross thing, I'm pretty sure, that the hint was telling me about, right? Well, let me make sure. The bucket of blood on the floor of the janitor's closet is perfect perfect for what Cindy is planning. Yep. I'll take that. It's a bucket that's catching the blood from that thing on the table. This would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. Take the bucket. Run! We gotta go back to lunch. Oh, did the slap give you the runs? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. All the other kids are at, are out at recess now. Go run along. Okay. At recess time. Let's go and find a lily. Cindy. Girlfriend. Whatever the frick her name is. Well, what did you get? This bucket filled with blood. Oh. My. God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Never mind, I don't want to know. Me neither. You're the best. Climb up there and I'll call her over. I'm gonna get in position. I don't have to do anything. Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? I'm so sick of you harassing me. Oh, I'm gonna get very sad. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Uh, oh, I can dump it on her head. Nope, we gotta stick to the mission. I'm not gonna scream that loud. <laughs> what did you just- Oh, you and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You've made me miserable for so long. Aw, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Oh my god. Goodbye, cruel world. Ooh. That's quite a hit. Wow, that hole is deep. Do you think she died? Never mind, I don't care. You should come down from there. Nugget, why is your hole that big? Nobody take that out of context. That was so great. You've made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty like me. This way, you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Take Cindy's flower. Now you'll have the best thing ever for show and tell. Gosh, I'm so great. Something tells me I should show that flower at show and tell. You sure are. Oh dear. Has anyone seen Lily? I don't see her anywhere. I don't see you. You're off my screen. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever god your messed up family believes in, if Lily fell down that hole you dug, I'm pushing you in after. Nugget will not give teacher the satisfaction. N teacher will never take Nugget alive. Oh! Nugget, not you two. I mean, uh... Man, these sick kids. Wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're gonna have to get the janitor out here with the ladder and get them out. Oh, Mr. Janitor! I'm coming, I'm coming. What seems to be the problem there, Miss Jigglytits? Oh, psh. It's Applegate, and I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. You want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well that's less fun, but I guess I can do that. It might take a while, though. Might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children. We're gonna cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? I brought a flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about that? It is not boring. I gave him that because he's, he's been a good boyfriend all day. No, it's definitely wimpy. I'm gonna kick his butt for being so whipped. Don't you dare, Bugs. No one is allowed to kick my boyfriend's butt except me. I have a feeling I didn't read that last line wrong. Uh, right. Wow. We'll see about that. No! Oh my god, Miss Applegate, stop him! I would, but damn if I don't love a good kitty fight. I'm dying!
don't show the flower if you're gonna get beat up for it. Restart room. Okay, I'll show the breathalyzer. Oh my, why on earth would you have something like this? Your parents need to be more responsible. You shouldn't have to use one of these until you're at least 16. No, 21. 21, kids. 21. Who's next? Hopefully someone doesn't need their BAC checked on the regular. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a horrible reader. I say, ugh, every five seconds. How dare you? What'd I do? Really? You have the gal to stand there as... What word is that? You have the gal to stand there as if you have no idea what you did wrong back there? I honestly have no idea. The flower! My special flower! The one I gave to you for being the best boyfriend I ever had. What about it? You didn't show it during show and tell. If it means that little to you, then I'm just going to take it back. We're through. Goodbye. Well, I mean, I got a dollar fifty now, so can't really complain. I mean, but is that really my fault? I showed the flower and I got my ass kicked. Okay, let's see if I unlocked any new hints. I did, just one. Show the flower at show and tell while Bugs isn't there and Cindy will let you keep it. Okay. So how do I get rid of Bugs? I have an idea, but I need more money. So what I'm gonna do is just do a regular day and get a bunch of money. All right, so I went through a school day, got some cash, and uh, I just bought a screwdriver for show something and show a tell. But now, we got some cash, so I think I know how to get rid of bugs. So what I gotta do, ow. So what I gotta do is I gotta bring, I think it's over three dollars, no, and then bugs will take like half of it or whatever. And I need a dollar to buy... No, I don't have to buy anything from Monty, I don't think. Whatever. So let's just get the three dollars. Boom. And now, to get rid of bugs, we gotta be a little snitch. And be like, teacher, bugs is attacking me. Oh, wait. I think it's over three dollars. Crap. Okay. Restart the day. Let's try this again. Okay, take two. There we go. Hmm. I smell money. Yeah, someone is definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. Bingo. I got it right. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? No. Don't lie to me. I know when I smell money. Give me half or else. No way. Look, kid. I don't have time to argue this with you. Give it to me or you're dead meat. Go make your own money. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh-oh. Wait, isn't there a way I can tell the teacher? Oh, wait, restart room. Hey kid, you carrying any cash? No. Don't lie to me, I know when I smell money. Give me half or else. Fine, here. Good. Now don't go telling teacher about this, or you might turn up missing like that Billy kid. Right. We gotta go be a snitch. New hint unlocked, new hint unlocked. Miss Teacher, I'm Miss Applegate. I've been well endowed <clears throat> with excellent teaching qualities. Bugs stole my money. He did? Interesting. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. Is this legal? Probably not. But if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? Um, okay. Oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. Okay. <gasps> Bugs, you a little What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving you your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squishing me won't make your dad come back. Jesus. My dad will come back. 
He just went to the store to get some cigarettes is all. <laughs> get out of here or I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud of you. I don't condone this, by the way. This is not how you solve your problems. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Dying wouldn't be so bad. Fine, you asked for it. This is for you, Dad. Call for teacher. Bugs! Nope, the text isn't popping up. No, please, don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office, or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go! Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star's <laughs> promise. Thanks. Hmm, now you've got me thinking, though. Oh, Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit Daddy? No, only because we're doing Cindy's mission today, so I'm just going to reject her and go back to trying to... Oh, that's unexpected, but I can respect that. Enjoy the rest of your day. Will do. So now I'm going to go try and get uh, Cindy as my girlfriend. Okay, here we go. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? And Bugs isn't here to tell me I'm a wimp. So here's the flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's there to even tell about that? It is not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. Trust me, it's boring. We're just going to skip you and move on to someone more interesting. Okay, who's next? It's not going to be hard to beat that, so don't be shy. Rude. That flower had feelings. Well, children, that was a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes, we did it. That was so sweet of you to show the flower to everyone. I didn't really have a choice. You really are the best boyfriend I've ever had. You can keep it forever and always. Joy. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, boyfriend. See you then. Day complete. Achievement unlocked. Best boyfriend ever. We got Cindy's flower. And we got $1.25. We got three bucks in the bank. Let's go. Monday times four. Woohoo. So now if we go over here, we have the mold and Cindy's flower. Perhaps I should show it to someone who needs a little love in their life. Leave it here. Uh, let's go to the hints and see what's the new hints I got. We're gonna just scroll over hers. Let's see. We got a new hint for yourself. Bugs will take half of your money if you bring more than three dollars to school. Yeah. I remembered that from watching a YouTube video. I, fun fact, I watch Cub Scouts and he was the one I watched play this game. That made me want to play it myself. So, shout out. Is it technically a shout out? I don't know. Whatever. That's how I knew about the Bugs 3. I thought it was three. I thought it was more than 250 or something. Whatever. It was more than $3. Uh, let's see. Start the day by getting robbed by Bugs and tattling on him. That's to do the teacher's mission. For Bugs' mission, you need a special item from the teacher before you can complete Bugs' mission. And tell on Bugs for robbing you, but don't agree to start a fight. Okay, so you need a special item from the teacher. So next episode, I think we're going to do the teacher's mission. We're pretty much doing them in order. Except I did Jerome and then Cindy, but shh, just ignore that part. Um, next episode, we're going to do the teacher's mission. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Follow my Twitch if you want to see me play the game uh, with no cuts, no edits, no nothing. Just uh, go over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Troya underscore NR. I don't remember if NR is capitalized. I don't think it is. Either way, if you're down to see my streams, go ahead and do that. And I will see you guys next video.